الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. It's imperative for us to reflect on Allah subhanahu wa taala's creation and also to reflect on those characteristics that please Allah subhanahu wa taala and how we can increase our worship and how we can be better slaves of Allah the Almighty. And this is this was the affair of the Sahaba. This was the way of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and may Allah be pleased with all of them, radiyallahu anhu majma'in. That they used to ask the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam about who the best person was, or what's the best way of, of worship, or what are the best characteristics, what are the best manners. And in one narration, this was a, the, the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri, radiyallahu anhu, wa Abi Sa'id al-Khudri, radiyallahu anhu, qal, قال رجل أي الناس أفضل يا رسول الله قال مؤمن مجاهد بنفسه وماله في سبيل الله قال ثم من قال ثم رجل معتزل في شعب من شعاب يعبد ربه وفي رواية يتقي الله ويدع الناس من this hadith was collected in Bukhari and Muslim. This hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri, radiallahu anhu, companion of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that a man said, oh, uh, a man said, who are the best of people, O Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? The Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, The believer, the mujahid, the one, you know, who strives in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mujahidun bi nafsihi, you know, the one who strives with himself, strives within himself and with his physical self. Mujahidun bi nafsihi wa malihi fi sabilillah. So he strives or fights he strives to fight his own desires. He also strives with his wealth to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning he spins for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala then the man asks, then who? The Prophet sallallahu responded by saying, then a man who separates himself from the, basically separates himself from the people on the mountain trails in order to worship his Lord. And this was collected in Bukhari and Muslim. And then in another narration, يَتَّقِيَ uh, اللَّهِ وَيَدَعَ النَّاسِ مِنْ شَرِّهِ And in another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, the one who fears Allah, or said, fear Allah, uh, uh, it said, the one who fears Allah, يتقي الله ويدع الناس من شره And that he stays, he leaves the people so that way they are protected from his evil, protected from his harm. What we gain from this uh, hadith, some of the benefits the scholars have derived from this hadith narration, is that it is recommended to ask about those things that a person requires related to the religion. That it is uh, recommended that a person seeks religious knowledge and that they ask those people who have knowledge of the religion. Also, this hadith shows us, it clarifies for us or shows us that uh, jihad with oneself, within oneself, jihad and nafs, or also physical jihad of, of fighting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and also striving with one's wealth is also something which is great in Islam, is something which is very a very high act of worship, that a person should be concerned 
about their soul in pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and raising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion and fighting their own desires and spending their wealth in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another thing that is, another benefit from this hadith is the importance of also a person, uh, for, for a person to keep themselves from always getting so engaged with the people. From at times to cut yourself off from the people in order to avoid the trials and tribulations, especially during times of fitna or in times when there is discord between the people, that it is better to leave the discord and not the discord and not engage in uh, things that do not have benefit for your soul. And also to protect oneself from falling into fitna, to, fa to falling into uh, chaos and tribulations and harm harmfulness, things that happen between the people. That one should not engage oneself in things that have no beneficial, no benefit, and also that only have harm in, in those things. And a final benefit that is derived from this hadith is that by when a person is an ascetic, you know, when they are physically uh, removing themselves from the people, that, and they're doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning they're doing it to come closer to Allah and increase their worship, that this is a good thing, especially if they're doing it also to, to of course, to, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but also to protect themselves from the harm of other people. And this will give us uh, benefit by trying to attain these attributes. And cutting ourselves off from fitna in times of trial and tribulations where there's things that have little benefit uh, for us. When, when, when these types of trials and tribulations, when people have discord between them, when there's animosity and enmity, when there's hatred, when there's fighting, when there's uh, physical and mental and spiritual warfare between people and harm and people speaking about other individuals, then in these times, in this type of fitna, then it's better for us, better for our own souls to, uh, to remove ourselves from those types of environments and be in an environment where we can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anything that I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and bless us with ikhlas. والثبات على السنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم